we we all know that over the five the, the past five years, Rwanda has made significant progress in terms of malaria control. Uh, we we have been reducing more than seventy percent malaria morbidity, mortality, and uh, malaria incidence. We all know that uh, for the past decades, malaria was the first cause of morbidity and mortality. And we all know that in Rwanda, uh, almost the population is at risk of malaria. This including the estimated 1.9 million of children under five and then 400,000 pregnant women. So in terms of malaria, although we have been successful in reducing malaria, of course this except in 2008 when we, we had um, uh, the decline of the efficacy of insecticides where we were not able to replace uh, mosquito net and had an upsurge in 28 districts out of 30 districts. So we have the vision to, to, to enter the malaria elimination in uh, 2017 and this we want to, to have at least 90% of households and population using a long lasting net. We want also to, to have 100% malaria cases tested, so the, we, are, we are having an uh, ambitious objective and we want also to consolidate all the results we had in terms of malaria control and continue to monitor for us to, to enter the, the prelimination where we have at least to have at least less than five slight positivity rate and then of course have 70% reduction in terms of malaria mobility and mortality. If uh, we look uh, back for the uh, five past years, we have been able to reduce malaria thanks to the strong leadership and of course the evidence-based of uh, all the malaria intervention we are using and then the, the, the strong decentralized uh, intervention one where we are using health centers and of course uh, community health workers who are having a big role in terms of the reduction of malaria. So one of the first challenge uh, Rwanda sees is resistance to parasites. For the moment we are using the most efficacious uh, treatment but we already know that there is resistance in the Cambodia border and uh, we may in few years if we are not using correctly the treatment we are going to face the resistance of the drug. So the most important for us is now to see how we can we, we can innovate, innovate and do research to look at new drugs and uh, contrary to HIV where for the past 10 years we, we had the discover of many ARVs for malaria for the past 100 years it's only uh, the artemisinin uh, drug which is uh, currently here and the second challenge is uh, as for drugs, there is also insecticide resistance. So in Rwanda we are doing the monitoring of uh, the insecticide efficacy. We already see the decrease in terms of uh, the efficacy of insecticide. So it's very important for us to see what we, to look at the alternative of uh, the current malaria control tools we are using. Uh, the third one, because malaria has decreased, we are having low perception of the community. So it's very important for us to sensitize and mobilize them to continue to use mosquito nets to, to get treatment uh, on time. And then another challenge is of course the funding. So and uh, to, to overcome that, the government of Rwanda is working with partners to see how we can uh, develop a sustainability plan for us to see uh, what will be other mechanism for her to sustain funding because as you know malaria control is very fragile.